Hi, this is Jen, and today we're going to take a short walk through Evernote. The first thing we need to do is get signed up for a free Evernote account by visiting evernote.com, clicking Sign Up, and registering a username and password. This will take us to the main user interface. Notebooks are listed on the left, notes within the selected notebook are listed in the center, and the active note is displayed on the right of the screen. Before creating our first note, we're going to make a new notebook to help us keep things nicely organized. Then within my notebook, I simply click New Note give it a name, and then add some text. You'll notice that Evernote immediately syncs everything back to my account so that I can access it not only through the web interface that we're using, but through a mobile application or desktop application. Let's go ahead and add an image to our poem from raisedreamboats.com. I click the Attach, Choose the file, and the image is added to my note. It's important to remember that the real value of Evernote lies with the auxiliary applications, mobile apps, and third-party applications that augment Evernote. Take Sketch for an example. Sketch is an Evernote app that can be downloaded from evernote.com backslash sketch. It will allow us to take a picture or a screen snap, mark it up, and sync it back to your Evernote account. Sketch is also available as a mobile app. We're going to use Sketch to take a screen snap of a map, mark it up, and sync it back to Evernote. I've already downloaded and installed Sketch, so all we need to do is log in, tell Sketch that we want to take a screen snap, locate our map, place the area we want in the crosshairs, click Capture, it automatically takes us back to Sketch, and now we can mark up our picture. Now all I have to do is make sure it syncs, Come back to my Evernote account, and it pops up right here. Two more notes about organization. To move notes into different notebooks, simply click the name of the notebook and select a different one. Also, if I want to share a note, clicking the Share tab gives me a variety of options. Personally, I like creating a public link. The addresses are so lengthy and random that the notes are fairly secure, and Evernote allows you to copy the URL and share it with whatever method you choose, like your desktop email client. Finally, if you do choose to download the Evernote desktop app, you can keep all of your notes on your computer for offline work. Evernote will sync automatically when you have a web connection and keep your notes in sync. I hope you have found this swift tour of Evernote to be helpful.